The women's soccer team has finished the regular season and is now preparing for the NCAA tourney. The women of Troy earned a spot as a two seed and will face Eastern Washington in the first round. I'm now joined by Ben Albert to discuss the upcoming tournament. Ben, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Let's do this thing. So, the bracket comes out, USC is a two seed. What do you make of the bracket and USC's path? Sure. Well, as you said, being a two seed is ties the highest ranking ever, and it's a good position for USC. Um, they're going to be able to play a, at least one, if not two, potentially quote-unquote lesser opponents. But at the same time, it's, it's the tourney. Uh, every opponent could potentially upset the team. So you can't take anything from granted. We open with East, or USC opens with Eastern Washington in their first round at home. Presumably, we'll have another home game against either Texas A&M and TCU. You like the home field advantage, at least for the first couple rounds. You absolutely do. And USC was cruising at the tail end of the regular season and then the loss to UCLA. The crosstown rival at the StubHub Center, a 1-0 defeat. Do you have any new concerns after that game? I do. I think the defense, once again, proved that it's stout and it's one of the best in the country. Uh, Sammy Joe Prudhomme, for instance, Goalkeeper of the Year Award. Mandy Freeman was the pa or Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year. My concerns are on offense. Uh, in that game, regardless of the stats, if you, if you were watching, you saw that even if we put shots, quote-unquote, on goal, they weren't the best opportunities. They were pretty easy snags for the UCLA goalkeeper, and I'm concerned that we may not be able to generate enough offense to win a game in, in the postseason when we really need it. That truly was shocking in that game. USC not generating the quality scoring chances we see them normally do, especially last 10 minutes when they were down a goal. You thought there was going to be just an inundation of chances not to be, and they lose to UCLA. Agonizing, but now fresh start with the tournament. Big opportunity as they play Eastern Washington coming up in the first round. My final question for you, Ben. I know we've discussed this on air before. Is this still a national championship team? The talent is there. I believe the motivation is there. Um, so, yes, I do think this is a national championship team. They've got a, a smoother path than they have in years past with a couple home games to start, and they've proven themselves with big wins over other tournament teams like Stanford. The one thing that I worry about will be just the unfamiliarity with the teams, so we'll see how that plays out going forward. It all starts on Saturday at 1 p.m. at McAllister Field when the women of Troy host the Eagles of Eastern Washington.